Some shakeups in the AP poll. Alabama jumps to number one after Clemson's performance against North Carolina. LSU drops to five because Ohio State on the heels of that impressive performance against Nebraska, reeling in seven first place votes of their own up to number four. Auburn, as we mentioned earlier, they're in number seven, followed closely by Wisconsin, Notre Dame, and their opponent for this upcoming weekend, the Florida Gators. Seven and ten. Of course, the big takeaway this weekend was Clemson, probably more than anything else. They've looked a little up and down this year. Their offense hasn't exactly played with the same rhythm that we expected coming off of last year's national championship. I guess, I guess the best question is how concerned are you about Clemson at this point? I'm concerned because to me it's youth. Um, we looked at this team, and obviously we are still enamored by what they were able to do the past four years as far as getting in the college football playoff. Five, maybe. Five, right? Um, but this is not the same Clemson. And I think a lot of times people just – we have this preconceived idea that because of, because of how they played last year in the national championship, some of those guys returning, a quarterback that everybody talked about uh, – being elite and he was supposed to blow numbers out of the water and obviously Trevor Lawrence has been a little disappointed based on the hype that he received coming into the season but Clemson is young we look this defensive line was different we see what Auburn is doing that was Clemson last year yeah um, we see the experience that played well in in the run game and all of the things that they did so uh, the expectation for Clemson was high but this team is totally different from what they've been Looking at this Clemson team, especially this past weekend, what makes me nervous is we can talk all day about the Bamas and the LSUs and how there's certain areas of their defenses that might make you nervous. But when you look at their schedule, they've been able to eventually blow out whatever team it is that they've been matched up with. You look back at that LSU Vanderbilt game. Vanderbilt was able to put some points on the board, but LSU still easily won that game. If Clemson had been able to do that to North Carolina and then finish strong, I would be less concerned. Yeah. But the fact that North Carolina took that game all the way down to the wire really makes me nervous if I'm a if I'm a Clemson fan. Well, this is my thing. I, I called the game, and, and I learned this about Clemson. One, they're impatient. They can't methodically right now move the football down the field. They want to go for broke. They want every play to be a home run, every play to be a touchdown, every play to be a 40, 50-yard game. They're not satisfied with a five-yard game. Right. It's just not who they are right now because they've had so much success. So North Carolina is able to keep the ball in front of them. They really only allowed one huge play, and that was the go-ahead score there late to go up 21-14. So if you force Clemson to be methodical, force them to snap the ball offensively, they've appeared to be very human. But by week for them this week, I bet you they come back against Florida State, a much better team next week. Okay, back to the SEC. We're going to do a segment that we're going to call Trust, Lust, or Bust. The team we trust, the team we're loving on right now, Lust and the team that might end up busting at the Great end of the season. Great name for this segment. So, I love it. I love it. I'm going to go first, and I'm going to go outside the box here because I feel like the answer was super obvious, so I'm not going with the obvious ones. I trust the Auburn Tigers right oh, wow. now. I think this team is so well-rounded. Everything I've seen from them so far this season has been great. They continue to improve. They haven't given me, given me any reason to panic ever since that Oregon game. They've been able to take care of business. The team I'm lusting after right now – Alabama, of course, I'd love to see the Alabama Crimson Tide make it back into the college football playoff. I think they are more than capable of doing that. But there are some question marks on the defensive side of the ball that we've talked about throughout the show. That doesn't mean that I don't trust them to be able to get the job done, though. I just think that the Auburn choice was a little bit more sexy, if you will. So the team that I think might be the bust, I'm sorry, Spears. LSU oh, defense lame, wins <laughs> championships and the LSU defense hasn't quite shown me enough to be able to put them in the trust or loss category. Defense don't win championships. Clemson scored 50 last year in the national championship. All right, anyway. <laughs> how about they, they won the championship, That's right? That's why the Bama yeah. defense many, did not win the Bama championship. Score? Offense won it. They scored okay. a lot, too. Okay, um, <laughs> All right, Spears, let's see it. The Your team turn. I trust is Alabama. Obviously, because of the experience, they've been in this position before. They know how to recover from the injuries. We've seen them do it. Um, so the trust factor, and obviously you go with the team that has had a tremendous amount of success facing adversity like Alabama has had. My lust factor, Avi again, LSU. I believe this defense can get better. Dave Aranda has not been a bad defensive coordinator in any of his years at LSU I believe in his mind. I think he'll get these players right. And a lot of guys are getting injured. They had an off week. So hopefully those guys are back. Rashad Lawrence, Chase on, uh, 
to make mention. And my bust is Auburn. And the reason my bust is Auburn is because I still, they still have a freshman quarterback. And these games that are coming down the road, obviously, Bo Nix can have the greatest story in college football outside of Jalen Hurts if he continues to rock like he's rocking. But for a freshman to possibly go win the Iron Bowl and have a chance to go to the college football playoff after what Auburn did two years ago would be one of the greatest stories in college football. But right now, he's still a freshman. Fair enough. I like it. All right, I'll go with mine now. It's pretty simple. Alabama is the team I trust. They've been to the college football playoff every single year since its inception. And we've seen them have issues on defense in the past. Those issues usually kind of figure themselves out as the game goes along. The team I'm lusting on right now, that'll be the Auburn Tigers. I, I'm a huge fan of what they're doing defensively. And this past weekend's performance by Bo Nix makes me think that this offense is not one-dimensional. They can drive the ball down the field if need be. And that's the type of confidence-building performance that can carry you week in and week out. And the team that I think could potentially bust right now are the LSU Tigers. It's not because I don't like LSU, because frankly, I would put them in the lust category as well. Right. But if I have to have one for each, their defense gives me concern. And two, they haven't won in Tuscaloosa in a really, really long time. However, I have seen Auburn beat Alabama more recently than I've seen LSU beat Alabama. Yep. So that might have been the differentiating factor between those two teams. But frankly, you can give me reasons why you trust all three. And why you can lust on all three, and why all three might bust. One so I think time. it's interesting. One if we had time. any other options, one last time Auburn beat LSU at home. Oh, okay. Never mind. Anyway, oh. uh, <laughs> thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.